Hey there guys, Elite here, and today I thought I'd just um, post this little video on um, kind of a new event thing, I guess with, with what you call it, um, that myself and the Swedish Lunch Nick are going to be doing. Um, we've been thinking about it for a, quite a long time now, but we just never kind of got around to it, but I think, I think we're pretty well coordinated now to kind of do it, if you will. Um, basically what it's going to be is it's... Um, it's like a little, uh, it's just that we've got a, a series of like cre recreating or reenacting historical battles throughout history um, using Total War series obviously. So um, we'd, you know, for instance, um, for instance, we'll, we'll cover all kind of periods. So for instance, we might do like the Battle of Marathon for the ancient period and, you know, we'd use Rome 1 or Rome 2 to do that depending on which would make be easier to replicate it with, if you know what I mean. Um, we'll cover all periods like the Roman, the Greeks, ancient period, um, medieval period, the Dark Ages, uh, you know, like the Empire Total War period, Napoleonic Wars. Um, we'll do a mixture of things. Um, I mean, concerning dates for this sort of stuff, it, it, we're not entirely sure. We'll just sort of play it when he's free, when I'm free, when things are good. Um, but we just thought, you know, it'd be something quite fun to try. Um, I, I personally love doing these kind of battles, trying to replicate historical battles or trying to change history of historical battles because I feel like there's not enough historical battles in the historical battle list in the Total War series. Like, there's only, like, five or six in each Total War, and I just feel like there should be so many more because there's just so many great historical battles in history. Um, and I just really thought that would be a really great um, thing to do. And I think lots of other YouTubers have done this kind of thing. Uh, but we just want to give it a go ourselves. Um, and you know, we're inviting anyone who's interested, really, to come and join us. Um, you can leave a message in this video or in any one of our other videos. Um, you can add us on... Well, you can add me on Steam. I'm, I'm sure Swedes won't mind, although I don't know how many people is in his friends list. So... Um, I'll let him confirm that in the video because I'm sure you'll watch this, Swedes. Um, but you can add me on Steam um, and we can coordinate or organise something out. I'm just Elite Leg or Heaven Elite Legionarii um, in the Steam in Steam if you want to find me. Um, but at the moment, we've already coordinated what we're going to do first. We're going to um, reenact the Siege of Acre in 1189. Um, to 1191, which was during the Third Crusade. So we'll be using Medieval Two Total War and the Crusades expansion to do it um, because that allows us to um, replicate as close as possible. Um, so if you guys want to learn a little bit more about that battle, because it would be good if, if you guys are going to get involved, it would be good if you had a little idea about the battle before you have got yourself involved. So you can just look it up on Wikipedia or whatever other sources out there. Um, you can just get some information about the battle. Um, and we, we, we are just going to um, replicate it. Me and Swede just read over the information and we try and organise it so everyone's got accurate armies. Um, and if there's not a whole lot of information, we'll just sort of play it by ear. So um, in this particular battle, the Siege of Acre, it would require six players. So it would be me and Swedes and we need four other people to join us. We have four attackers and two defenders. Okay, guys, so now we're in the Crusades menu um, for Medieval 2 Total War. Uh, the Crusades campaign. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how this might work just in case you're wondering. So how this would work is obviously the Siege Act is a Siege Battle so we'd probably just choose a map and then we'd we need to set it to all period to get the correct factions for this and then it would most likely just be a castle oops, castle or a fortress perhaps just depends. I have, I'm have i not entirely sure we haven't decided upon that yet um, like so and um, to, to accurately represent this battle, um, it basically it describes the Kingdom of Jerusalem being a major player, and they were supported by French knights, English knights, and German knights. So Team 1 would be made up of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, France, England, and the Holy Roman Empire to represent this as best as possible. It's about as accurate as we can get it. Um, I'm sure we, we're not going to be able to get everything absolutely accurate, but we can probably get it pretty close. And then we have two Egyptian defenders, basically. Um, now, the reason we're doing this on Crusades is obviously we need Jerusalem, and the Crusades is the only place to get it. Um, plus, if we try doing this on... Um, on the, on the base game, this would be too hard for Egypt, but on Crusades, Egypt's got like, say, these Al-Hakka infantry. The two-hander units are, are much stronger on 
on the expansion ones, and they've got these you know, dismantled gulams. Um, it's got a, a more fleshed out unit roster, which will mean Egypt has a higher chance of success here, um, and will be quite capable at defending this. Um, so that's why um, we're doing it here on, Crus um, on Crusades rather than the the standard game because it's just much easier for us to represent it fairly and better basically as accurately as possible so that'll be the siege of acre guys so um i think we'll do about 50k each 12.5k for each of these attackers and 25k for each defender um also i want to try and keep it accurate to both me and swedes want to try and keep it accurate to how it was in real life and that way um for, for sieging you won't have cannons um, you'll have trebuchet um, and that kind of stuff and you have to rely on siege towers, rams and ladders and stuff um, because 1189 gunpowder units really weren't in use for the siege um, and that kind of thing. Same kind of goes with the units. Say you're playing as the Holy Roman Empire. We don't want to see gothic knights because they went around at this point. So you need to use feudal knights and imperial knights. You stick to high, early and high period units if you could guys because that now like, blah, sorry, tongue -tied, enables us to be more accurate to the actual period. Um, so yeah, so I mean, and, and that'll apply to any of these, you know, especially any of medieval, these medieval two ones we do. We'll stick to units of the time period, guys, just just to be accurate to the siege. It's not to deprive you; it's just being accurate to the to the scenario that's, that we're trying to replicate. So hopefully, this gives you a bit of an idea. Um, I don't think I'm going to impose, we're going to impose on you guys what units you can have, because I don't think that that's fair. We just want you to use units that are within the bounds of of that era. So I'm not going to tell, like say someone chooses the French here, I'm not going to tell them exactly what units they're allowed to use. Um, I'll, I'll give them some freedom of choice, um, but as long as it's accurate enough to the um, particular scenario we're doing. Uh, so I highly recommend you guys actually go into Wikipedia or some other source side or if you've got books or something at home or whatever or if you have enough knowledge of the battle that's great just just work out or find out about the siege of Acre or Acre however you want to pronounce that um, and have an idea so that it's accurate and we'll try and get the numbers accurate too so that you know team numbers are good so anyway guys that'll be the first of this series and, and again it could be lots and lots of them um, just depends on how well this goes. Uh, me and Swedes will be doing this, and we need four others for this particular battle. Um, but for instance, just to give you another bit of a idea, for instance, let's say we were doing, uh, we we're going to redo the Battle of Asian Core or something. I'm not going to go over to the base medieval game, but just say we're on a map like Asian Core, we're going to replicate it. I know the Asian Core is actually in the historical battle, but um, I'm just going to replicate it uh, here, or just pretend. So we'd have, say we wanted, we could just do like a, me and Swedes could do Agent Call 1v1, but I think it'd be more interesting if um, we had uh, like more guys doing it. So for instance, um, you might have four people playing, so you have two people playing as England and two people playing as France, and you'd, and you'd try and recreate it so that it was like uh, the armies that were like the armies that were used in the Battle of Asian Corps um, for both sides. So, I mean, say Team 2 could be the um, Team team 1 would be the English, Team 2 would be the French, for instance, and the English would bring a lot of archers, you know, as it was, and then the French would bring a lot of infantry and some cavalry, and we try and replicate it. So that may, maybe, like, the first English player would bring, like, five or six archers, but then the uh, second English player might do a bit more with infantry, and then the you know, the one French player would bring some section of the actual French army and then the other one would bring the other. That way it kind of allows for two players or more players to be involved, but it's still just kind of two factions fighting each other, if you know what I mean, to replicate that battle. So I hope you kind of understand what I'm getting at there. Um, so anyway, yeah, it'll be the, the first battle will be the Siege of Acre. Um, and looking forward to it. So if you're interested, guys, um, it would be good if... Um, I know I've got already... There's already two people on my Steam list who have actually shown interest, and so those guys can come in. But um, whoever kind of just gets in when we're going to do it, basically. So really, there's already we'll try, try and get as try and get as many of you guys to play. But I mean, you do have to be in pretty quick, guys. You know, so just kind of notice when me and Swedes are on when we're on medieval two. You can mention it and so on to us, and we'll try and coordinate it when we can. So anyway, guys, um, I know this is a bit long-winded. I hope you haven't got bored, but I just 
hope you're interested in doing this and leave messages down in the uh, the um, you know below and um, you can add, add me on Steam you can leave a message on Swede's channel I'm sure he wouldn't mind that uh, and um, we'll be looking forward to doing it so I'll see you soon next time guys